Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching another one of my shopping hauls. So I've been to Asda uh, and I've been to Lidl. Again, it's another small one because I don't need a great deal. Um, I will go to the butchers in the, in the middle of the week, but obviously I can't show you stuff like that. So it's a very small haul. So I've spent all in all about £34, which is really good, I think, anyway, because that is snacks um lunch and tea and then maybe a snack at supper time so i don't think that's actually too bad so yeah i'll get straight onto the video and show you exactly what i've bought so i bought a dozen of the james potter eggs uh, i seem to be living off um poached eggs and omelettes and fajitas and all sorts of stuff so i'm going through a lot of eggs plus i'm doing a lot of um savory cakes which are a bit like a gluten-free bread um very very tasty um so each time i do one of those i need four eggs so they're so there's 12 eggs there. Um, I got my usual prawns, which I always get. Absolutely adore them. Can't live without them. Couldn't get any smoked salmon, otherwise I would have got that as well, but it had all gone. I got a little pack of the baby plum tomatoes. These are still really, really tasty, and these are just a pound, so I think that's really, really good value. Um, I bought a, I don't know what you call them, but spring onions are thing of spring onions these were 60p i think um these are going to go in some more stuffed mushrooms and i've seen like a, an omelette and a scrambled egg dish that i'm going to make as well so yeah uh i bought a net of the garden gang super easy peelers these were 80p i think They're supposed to be super sweet i hope they are because i love i love tangerines at this time of year but they've got to be really easy to peel and they've got to be super sweet so i hope they're nice i bought some salmon paste which is 27p um that goes in a wrap that i normally take for lunch or something like that or even on a piece of toast on a sunday morning i but i bought my balotti beans these are bonners or boners finest balotti beans these go in like a chili or a spaghetti bolognese that i smush up um instead of uh the kidney beans because i'm not keen on the kidney beans I bought a tin of the cheaper tomato soup, which again I'll probably take to work because it's um, well, it's absolutely freezing cold at work as well. So sometimes you don't want a sandwich or salad or pasta. So I'll take some soup in a tin and, and take that to work to eat. Um, bringing out the kidney me, which I've not had in absolutely ages. These are the milk bottles. These are gluten free. Otherwise, I didn't know that. Otherwise, I'd probably been eating a pack every week. But I used to have these as a child, and it just brought back memories when I saw them. So. I bought a tin of the kimchi, which is a Korean pickled cabbage. If anybody's not tried it, they really want to try it because it's super, super nice. Um, it's not as good as a real thing, obviously. It's in a tin, um, but it's still really, really tasty. And I think that was pound fifty. It's just something a little bit different and it, it's nice. Um, I bought um, a pint of British whole milk. The sell by date on that is brilliant because it's the 2nd, December, 2nd of December, which is good. And I bought these, I'm not really too sure what they are. I'm not sure whether they're a jelly or a smoothie, but <clears throat> I wanted to get some yogurts, but they'd basically been picked over. There was nothing there. So I saw these and I thought, well, these will be all right. Just to sling in my handbag. They're not gonna burst in my handbag because the amount of times I've put a yogurt in my bag and then it's burst or, um, and I've had yogurt everywhere and I absolutely hate that. So I bought two of those. It's apple, strawberry and banana and then apple strawberry and blueberry i bought my penne pasta which is normally about 150 but they they seem to be doing a, a big thing on supermarkets at the moment and doing gluten-free things half price which is great i should have bought a couple of them really so that was a pound i bought my mini mozzarella pearls to go in my salads and my pasta and maybe even do another stuffed mushroom because the one that i had a couple of days ago was absolutely gorgeous so that's £1.40. I got two tins of the ready-made um, cocktails. So I got a strawberry daiquiri and then a passion fruit martini. These are 90 pence each. I think that's pretty good. I got my usual red Leicester cheese. I can go through that in two days. Um, Should have bought two again because I always run out. Live on cheese, have cheese absolutely every day. And that's basically all of bought for the food the next things are just drinks um i did buy a candle because these are quite big and they're a pound and they actually burn for more than 25 hours not that i'm sat there counting it but i'm sure i have it a lot i'm sure i have it on a lot more than 25 hours and i can really smell these so i think these are better 
value than the Primark ones, they're certainly bigger anyway. Um, I got a litre of the orange juice with the juicy bits. And I got a Brooks Fizz, which is just sparkling wine with orange juice. I'm going to put that away for Christmas. Hopefully it, it will keep for Christmas, but knowing me, it won't. Um, and then I got my low calorie Indian tonic water to go with ice and uh, a little drop of gin. I got my orange crush, which is still 50p. I think that's absolutely fabulous. They've got diet dandelion and burdock and diet cherry aid and all sorts of things, but I prefer the orange ones. And then I saw this on somebody else's food haul um, that I saw yesterday. Um, I watch a channel called Family Seesaw or The Family Seesaw and she does the most lovely homemade meals. Honestly, they look absolutely gorgeous. And she does the food hauls as well. And she had this and she said it was just really nice. Um, in, if you don't want coffee or tea, it's just the ideal thing. I thought, well, if I can find it, I'm going to try it because sometimes... I don't always want that on the night time, so um, this is very late at night that I'm doing this, so this is quarter past 12, so I'm actually trying it now. So I've got it here and it is really nice. You can smell the cloves and the cinnamon and um, it's nice, very, very tasty. And that was pound fifty, so I think that's just a limited edition, I'm sure. Yes, it is, it's just a limited edition. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to show you what I bought at Lidl. So the next part of my shopping haul is from Lidl. Um, I've spent in total £17.05. So I think with my Asda and my Lidl, it was about £37, £36, something like that, which is not bad. Um, so I went in for just a couple of things and ended up buying a little bit more than what I wanted, but that's fine. So the first thing that I bought is the Warburton's Gluten-Free Bread, which is £1.59. I don't think this is any cheaper than Asda or Sainsbury's or anywhere like that. It's just when you go to Asda and buy it, you can never get it because there must be loads of gluten-free people and celiacs that shop there. Whereas at Lidl, there can't be anybody who's gluten-free that goes to Lidl because there's loads of them. So I got a white and this is half a loaf as well. It's only small, but it's fine. Um, the next thing I got was two unsmoked gammon steaks. Now I've never had meat from Lidl or Aldi or any of those places. In fact, not a lot of supermarkets, to be honest. I have a great butcher's in the town centre and I know where the animals are raised and slaughtered. So I want to try and support him and he's really not that expensive either. So um, he does some great meats and I have a fishmonger as well that I support if I can. Um, but these are £1.49 and I thought they looked quite nice. They're small enough just for me because I eat very very small portions so I'm going to do that with an egg or some pineapple or something like that. I am out of the tomato puree this was 31p I think they re reduced it by 2p so that's good than the normally 33. I'm totally out of tomato puree so I've got that uh, and then I'm almost out of the sun-dried tomatoes these in Asda are about £1.50 or something like that and they're 89p in Lidl and they're just as good so I got a jar of those I got a big pack of the toilet rolls, I think there's nine in these and these last forever so they're fantastic. I got a tin of peaches because I just fancied something sweet so I'll drain the syrup off those and freeze them and then that will either go in a smoothie or over some ice cream one day. That's what I tend to do with the syrups in peaches and tins of fruit. So I got a little smoothie which has got apple, mango, orange, banana and pumpkin. That sounds that sounds really nice actually and that was 89p. I got a litre and a half of the orange juice because this is really tasty and that is 85p. Um, not food related at all, in fact it's very very flimsy but what I want to do is um, I do tiny Yorkshire puddings because with them being gluten free they tend to hold to better they tend to hold together and rise better if they're tiny, but I can't get them with the hole in the middle. So I thought if I got these little donut tin hole thing, I might that might just work. This was 2 49 and it's amazingly flimsy, so I'm not sure if it's going to hold up, but I'll give it a try anyway. Um, and then I got a, a latte macchiato, which is... A coffee obviously and it goes with the Dolce Gusta so I've got a drinks machine in the bedroom which um, this will go in the bedroom and then I've got it for a night time or morning or, or whenever so this was £2.49 whereas the Dolce Gusto ones are about £4 so I think they'll be just as good. I got one of the Arizona iced tea I had those a couple of weeks ago and they are really really nice in fact there was loads of them so there must be a big hit uh, and that was 99p. 
I got two tins of the equivalent to the monster drink, the energy drink. These are zero. I know these are really bad for you. Um, I'm aware of that. They're 89p. Uh, no, they're 49 pence each. I got two. I'm just working 16 to 18 hours a day, every day up until way after Christmas. So I'm shattered. And every now and again, I need a little bit of help with a sugary drink. So, and then the last thing I bought was the cat sticks. Um, she has got salmon and trout and then she's got poultry and liver and she goes nuts for either of these these are 69 pence each so i just give her a stick and she t she runs off and chews it somewhere but she really likes them so that's the end of my asda and little haul i hope you've enjoyed my video if you have then please subscribe i'd love you to join my little youtube family just give me a big thumbs up or leave a comment and i hope you all have a great week